So to begin this experiment, we are going to set up the belt and pulley system. We will attach weight to the end of the pulley beginning with 200 grams. We are starting this experiment with a flat belt and we will be continually adding weight to the belt until there is no slippage occurring. This is done by adding the weight, waiting for it to equalize, and then tapping the wheel to make sure that the no slippage occurs. As you can see in the beginning of this experiment, we are starting out with the right end of the belt secured at zero degrees. We continue to test for slippage. If you observe closely, you can see that there is a little bit of slippage occurring. So that means that we need to add more weight. Theoretically, the tension acting on the belt can be calculated by the belt friction equation and can then be compared to the maximum tension the belt can support, which is the purpose of this experiment. We then will be changing the right end of the belt from zero degrees by loosening the bolt. This is then moved up in increments of 10 degrees to our next step, 20, 30, 40, and 50 degrees. We perform this experiment with another belt as well. When we were adding weight to the left side of the belt, we had started out we with changed 200 out the wheel. grams. We continue at zero degrees, and then on the right side of the belt, go from 200 grams to 300 grams to 400 grams. And then we will change the angle of the right side of the belt, and then continue the same procedure. The main objectives of this experiment are to observe the relationship between the tensions in the two sides of the belt, to investigate the effect of the angle of lap, to investigate the relationship between the belt tensions and the angle of lap for a flat end V-belt, to compare the driving torque for a given angle of lap, to evaluate the differences between the V and flat belt, to determine the coefficient of friction between the pulley and belt for the belt sections, and to verify the belt tension equation with our data taken from the experiment. So here we continue the same procedure with the V-belt by changing out the setup with the belt with the grooves and beginning at zero degrees again. For the sake of showing a different type of setup, we are displaying the experiment done at 30 degrees. We continue the same procedure with the V-belt by adding weight to the left side. We continue to observe if there is any slippage in the V-belt. Once it is equalized and no slippage is occurring, we can verify that the experiment has been completed.